This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Hugh Hunter with me and Julia Chisholm. Thank you very much for joining us. You're with the Leeds County 4-H program. Hugh, you're the president. Correct, yes. And Julia, you're one of the members of 4-H. Yeah. How long have you been with 4-H? Uh, seven years. Seven years? Yeah. And Hugh, you're the president. The president. How long have you been involved with them? So I've been uh, involved with 4-H uh, since I was a member in 1989 to start and continuously since. All right. And you're celebrating the Leeds grown the Leeds uh, 4-H is celebrating 100 anniversary this year. That's right. That's huge. Yeah, I guess uh, started in 1922. The precursor program to 4-H was the Boys and Girls Clubs. So that is when we have record of those starting uh, or the first record of it in Leeds County. Okay. Now, what, from what I understand with 4-H, there's, there's different clubs, people get involved in it, or, or overall, all of them. Your, your focus is dairy? Yeah. Okay. So how are you, what, what, what do you do with the 4-H with dairy? Um, so at the start of the year, or like a few months after they're born, I'll pick a calf that looks good, like based on their looks and their physique, and also one that would be good in like training the calf. And then I would work with it and take it to shows throughout the whole summer. And like summer's just starting too, so a lot yeah. of fairs and everything. It's probably been pretty quiet over COVID, but yeah. things are going to be busy for you this year. Yeah. So fair seasons are are important and busy. And uh, so to so talk about you, you pick a, a calf. You you live on a dairy farm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you pick a calf this year. Yeah. So you have to pick a new one every year, and I like generally you pick one based on your height and like your age so it matches up with you and so it doesn't overpower you. Okay so when you're in the ring too what are the, some of the things the judges are looking at? Um, if you place their feet properly and their heads up high and generally if it's not like acting out and you're walking with it and fluent with the calf. And, and I've been to a few of these shows, quite a few of these shows too, and there is an element of, I mean, you can do as much training as you want, but they don't know what it's like until they get them to the ring. Yeah. You guys are pretty professional about being able to get them moved around when they don't want to, and yeah. that's a whole different element. So you get to know your calf. Yeah, for yeah, sure. definitely have a bond with it. Yeah, and how long have you been doing shows? Um, seven years. For the whole seven years? Yeah. So each year you get a new calf? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And what about yourself? You've, you've done shows before? Yes, shows have been a part of my life uh, ever since I was a kid. It's a part of my family's cultures. Um, yeah, I, I still show today, but now all of my kids are involved in 4-H as well, so they're in the program. Also a judge, so I have traveled Ontario and Quebec and some of the United States uh, judging 4-H shows and such. Um, yeah, so it's it's been... You make friends and you learn life skills along the way too, right? When you're traveling and yeah, Julie is too modest though. She she is our reigning champion show person in Leeds County. So she wow. did a real good job last year. Wow, good for you, yeah. good for you. you, good for you. So talk about judging too. Uh, do you just do cattle? Do you do horses? Uh, so for, for me, I, I am mostly uh, dairy cattle. Mm -hmm. And then there's the 4-H showmanship component to that too. So most 4-H shows would have a confirmation, which is you're looking at the structure of the calf and, and separate classes where the junior sh show people are showcasing their showmanship abilities and how they work with their calf. So there's two, two parts to that. So it's not always the, the, the cattle or, or the calf, it's the, how you do it. Too. That's right. Oh, wow. So yeah. do you work with them before the, the uh, competitions as well? Or so I will, I will work with our members in Leeds to mm -hmm. try to help them and give them pointers. But uh, basically when I go to a show, uh, to judge, my assumption is that they've already been trained, okay. right? Okay. And I will obviously give them pointers afterwards as to what they could uh, do differently or improve on. Okay. Now I, I know with 4-H too, you've got different clubs. There's the cattle, there's dairy, there's sheep. I, I believe there's a photography club. So mm -hmm. they must meet on different nights. How does that work? That's right. So uh, each club, uh, like you've mentioned, has a different um, topic that they're covering, and a, a club. Um, would include a group of at least six members and two leaders is the bare minimum and they would cover that ta that subject matter over six meetings and then an achievement program so that could take place anytime but the overarching goal of all of our 4-H clubs and meetings is to develop uh, personal skills of our youth 
uh, to become leaders in their community as they grow. So talking, all of those clubs would cover, uh, encourage members to participate in public speaking, critical thinking. Uh, they all learn uh, basic Robert's rules and rules of order for running meetings during our clubs. So uh, like I said, each club is, is unique but has those basic uh, parts to them. It, it almost uh, seems like it's a bit of training for when they get older, move on, you can be a leader. Yeah. Is that That's part right. of it too? And well. leaders in the community. Absolutely. Broadly. Absolutely. Broadly. Those are all, all skills that are mm -hmm. so important in everything you do as you move forward in life too. So what is it you want to do when you get older? Um, I'd eventually like to take over my parents' dairy farm, but like I'm not necessarily in a rush. I'd like to get more experience within the dairy industry, I guess. Oh, and where's your parents' dairy farm? Um, just um, in Lombardy. In Lombardy? What's yeah. the name of it? Creekside Holsteins. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. They've been around for a long time? Uh, yeah, they took it over from my grandpa and he took it over from my great grandpa. So it's a family thing. Yeah. You got brothers or sisters? I have two sisters. Excellent. Younger. Excellent. Are they interested in it too? Uh, yeah. Not so much in taking over, but like they're in 4-H and they're in, yeah. Oh, excellent. Excellent. So this is the 100th anniversary. We were talking about the Lombardi Fair. That's one of the fairs that are coming up this year. You've got a special day at the Lombardi Fair. Yeah, it's still very conceptual at this point, mm -hmm. but the goal is to have sort of a celebration of 4-H day. And like I said, our association is working with the fair board right now to to plan how that's going to, to shape up. But uh, yeah, we're hoping to at least have some uh, significant amount of alumni involvement uh, from the surrounding territory to come come see us and uh, yeah, see if they can be recognized as well. Absolutely, uh, the, the alumni the, the element too. It's so nice to have some people come back from the past. Definitely. Excellent, excellent. Maybe see their picture up there or something. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> and this is fair season, so you've got quite a few fairs and competitions. Is there other competitions other than fairs that you go to? Uh, yeah, so the fair season will really start sort mm -hmm. of at uh, after the kids are done school. Mm -hmm. We have a, an open show for 4-H members uh, that is in early July in Spencerville that is sponsored by lo one of our local uh, AI companies that sell the bulls. Um, that is quite popular for kids in Eastern Ontario, sort of their first show of the year and a bit of practice. And then there are some open shows uh, through the summer, so like we'll go to Merrickville Fair, which mm -hmm. is after Lombardy for practice. Um, where else, Julia? Um, there's one in Elma. Yeah, yeah. Do you do the Perth Fair too? Uh, uh, typically, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we were at Perth Fair. Um, yeah, so there's the month of July and August is when the majority of the shows happen. And then, okay. uh, I don't know, Julia, you wanted to mention our, the national junior show is at the Royal. In, yes. in November, so that's a big deal. That's sort of the end goal for most members to make it there. And you've been there? Yeah, I went there last year. It was my first time. Yes, and how did it go? Um, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, good experience? Yeah, our group was really good and like we had a lot of fun. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And to be a member of the 4-H or to come out to any of these clubs, you don't have to be living on a farm or, or country that... No, definitely no. not, um, especially uh, now with the change in demographics over the last number of decades. Uh, I would say almost the majority of our members in our dairy club are actually not from farms, but they are friends of uh, people like Julia's or my kids that will borrow a calf. And you can do a, a dairy project in our 4-H club and, and not even show a calf. If, if you're afraid to or if you're just getting, we, our goal is to have them learn about dairy production and the industry and hopefully be involved in 4-H and in that matter. Excellent, excellent. So how do people get a hold of, uh, of you or 4-H? Or well, we're on, uh, Leeds County has Facebook and Instagram accounts, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sure you could get in touch with us uh, either way through there. And also, if you went to the 4-H Ontario page and looked up for Leeds and searched for Leeds County, you would have all of our contact information there as well. Excellent, excellent. Well, I thank you very much for coming here to FYI today. Hugh Hunter, the Association President for 4-H Leeds uh, County and Julia Chisholm, thank you very much. Good luck this year, and uh, you'll do really well. Thank you. Sounds like you got a good footing. You've been practicing for a while. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Happy for anniversary, you. 100 years. Thanks. <laughs>